Do you find it difficult to cut with a designer who, whose aesthetic you just don't share? Uh, yes, that, um, that, can be, that can be difficult. You, sim you simply have to reduce your work to, to um, just doing your job and not having much, very much input. Um, that hasn't happened very often. I haven't had that experience very often. Um, so are you saying that a, a cutter is good to have a flexible style or yes. palette, so to speak? Yes, you, yes, you certainly have to do that. But I think when designs are, are handed out by um, a manager or whoever is going to, or the designer themselves, say, I want Cynthia to do this, this costume, um, some of those problems are eliminated because they, they give you the things they know that you can do best. So um, where I did run into to some of those things is when I was working in a costume shop in New York um, where I didn't have very much to say about anything. Is this for the anything. Metropolitan Opera? Um, this was after, I, I was a year at the Metropolitan Opera and then I, I went, the musicians all went on strike so I didn't have a job. So I got a job with uh, Van Horn Costumes Com Costume Company, which is in New York, the, you know, there are commercial companies that make all the costumes. And I, uh, I really, I learned an awful lot there. because so we were churning out Broadway shows all the time. And although I was never, I was never given anything terribly important because I was very much a junior there. Um, uh, I, I learned a great deal, but I ran, I ran across um, designers that I, I really didn't think very much of, <laughs> and, but I had, to, I had to do what they, what they wanted. But again, early in my career, I just um, I was happy to do anything and learn anything. One of the, the, the great things about my, my year and a half at that, at that uh, shop, um, I did Barbara Streisand's costumes for her very first musical in New York. Nobody knew her. She was total unknown. What was the musical? It's called I Can Get It For You Wholesale. It was a, a story set, it was a musical set in the garment district of New York and she played a secretary and of course once she was on the stage everything changed. Um, but she was a total unknown, which is why I was given her costumes, you know, because I, I was very junior. So I, I was given this person who was playing the secretary. And uh, that was a fun experience. She was great fun. Was she? Very insecure. Cause she was, I don't know, 19 or 21 or something. Would I don't she know look at herself in the mirror? Um, I don't think she liked her looks very much. Um, I don't really remember it vividly, but uh, we had a lot of laughs, a lot of laughs, but, um, you know, her, she was very, very insecure at that point, and hadn't, hadn't been on Broadway before, so that was, uh, but that was a great experience. Have you ever cut a costume? Uh, we've looked at the best costume, the most exciting costume you've cut. Have you ever cut a costume that you cringed at and thought, let me, please let me do that again? Oh, I just put those out of my mind. I probably have, but I don't, I don't remember those. No. <laughs> there are probably some like that, but no, I don't, don't remember them. Unlike actors, when we have done yeah. a totally rotten piece of work, yeah. I speak personally, yeah. it sits in the back of your mind and kills you for the rest of your life. Well, some of those things you just have to put behind you right. and, and move on because they can, they can wreck your life if you, if you keep them too, too far forward. I'm sure they're in the back of your head somewhere, but... Are you hopeful for theatre in this country in the future? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I think so. Why do you say that? Well, we have... Uh, this is a great country. We have so many talented people in this country. We don't appreciate them, I don't think. Um, but, uh, oh, yes, I, I think... Uh, I, I don't have any doubts. I mean, we go through bad times, like all, like, uh, I mean, worse times than others, you know, 
sometimes are better than others, but uh, oh no, I'm sure. I'm sure we'll continue to have good things. What were the best years at Stratford for you? Um, I think probably Robin Phillips' time here was, was one of the best times for me. I, um, I got great satisfaction out of the shows that he did were, were wonderful, very special, not like anybody else's. And um, I, th I think um, the, early, the early days um, working with Desmond and in the 60s here, and I was still learning my, my, my craft, of course, um, were still very exciting. But I think as far as just uh, satisfaction, uh, I think Robin Phillips' time here was the most satisfying to me. And um, a few years after he left um, the artistic directorship here, he did a season at the Grand Theatre in London, Ontario, and I, I, I did that with him. And that was probably the best year of theatre I've ever had. That was just marvelous. Quite amazing. Just every single show was brilliant. Wow. It was quite marvelous.